Good evening. Family, friends, staff, and most importantly, graduates. Tonight we gather here to commemorate something truly special, our completion of high school. This is our moment to shine, and as much as we like to think so, we couldn't have gotten here without the help of our families and our teachers. Without your support and guidance, we wouldn't have become the young adults we are today. We are all beyond grateful to have you in our lives. I know that without those closest to me, I wouldn't have made it this far. So to my parents and siblings, who I love dearly, Those whose blood couldn't make us any closer. And the teachers and staff who encouraged me to do more. I thank you for making me the great person I'm today. Like me, many of us aren't the same people we were when we entered this school. You see, DSA is overlooked for its uniqueness. It's a school that accepts us for who we are and allows us the opportunity to grow into greatness. My experience at DSA began in the 10th grade when I transferred from Wines Academy. When I first started here, I was quiet. Like, really quiet. In fact, it was my quietness that led teacher to introduce me to two guys who are now my best friends. From there, the opportunities presented here at the school allowed me to find my passion. A passion that has helped me has helped to build friendships that will last a lifetime. With these friendships and my love for music, I strive for greatness and came out of my comfort zone. They even got me to dance. Yeah. And I don't dance. It's because of those relationships I, cre I created that I was able to be where I am today, graduating as one of the very few male valedictorians ever at DSA. DSA has provided a home for us to not only find ourselves and what we're passionate about, but many other things along the way. One of those things being our friendships. DSA creates an environment for a family to thrive, and that's one thing that as a class we take advantage of. We've all created relationships with one another that even the pettiest of arguments couldn't break us apart. And boy, were there a lot of those. We've grown so close over the years that there's no telling what we wouldn't do for each other. It's to the point where the saying, we don't, want, we don't fight ones around here, means something more besides violence. For those that don't recognize that saying, it means that we will never fight our battles alone. At the end of the day, we've helped each other through the most stressful situations. Like trying to finish all of Mr. McLean's journals on the Friday by 2.30. Not 2.30 or not 2.30. Trying to figure out all the work Ms. Moultrie kept giving out that nobody quite understood. And let's not forget all the unnecessary papers Mrs. Gore must like reading. Again, this past week, when we just wanted to take our finals to get out of here, and they kept giving us half days. DSA has provided us all with more than, more than great memories we can't forget. After all, that's what they are. Something in our past. And after tonight, we will put DSA in our past, but it will always be a part of us as we look toward our future. We are the future, and in the years to come, we will control the outcome of the world. All over the country, people our age are standing up and speaking out, but I believe we can do more than that. We're so determined and creative, and most definitely stubborn. I know we can do anything. I know that instead of being the ones talking about how things should change, we're going to be the ones to get up and get things changed. There is no doubt in my mind that we'll be anything less than great. I know you. I know this. You know this. The staff knows this, and our parents know this, and soon, the world will know this too. Go out into the world and show them what you're made of. Continue to be the leaders that you are and set the bar so high, it's hard for others to keep up. All of us have so much potential and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Let us show them that we won't be defined by the color on our skin, that the pigment on our backs won't stop us from being more than extraordinary. Remember, we are achievers, and although we may encounter discouraging moments, 
rise above them, and live your best life with compassion and integrity. Granted, we are bound to run into a few obstacles along the way, but we will overcome them. We always do. This may be the end of high school, but it's only the beginning of our journey to wherever we're going. We forge our own paths to our excitingly unknown endeavors. So fellow graduates, let's prepare ourselves as we close the door on this chapter of our lives and open the one that's waits. Let's show them what true success is. Thank you.